Wolverine. In the 21st century, evil mutants led by man. Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah yes, X-Men Arcade. One of the true classic arcade games in the uh, beat-em-up genre. I mean, you, you think beat-em-ups, you think this game, you think um, you think Simpsons, you think Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Final Fight, uh, but X-Men, this is definitely one of the all-time greats. And um, I'm surprised I got as far as I did on one credit. Um, I I would, my dad would take me me and my brother to the arcade when we were little kids and uh this was one I would always play and uh and like I would start off like by myself but it, more than likely ha good percentage of the times people would join in cuz this is a game that was truly meant you know for for you know more than one person to be playing at a time and that's the whole reason that I I ultimately ended up being the game is because of I would have you know usually older kids would that were more experienced at uh, at uh, arcade games would uh, play with me, and uh, we would get to the I, I got to the end several times on this game, but um, yeah, Pyro was this, this surprisingly easier than I remember, um, and I beat him pretty pretty easily. Um, the Blob, um, I it was kind of strange seeing him in that setting, even after playing this game so much as a little kid. I always thought of the Blob more along the lines of like a circus sideshow freak, and I kind of, you know, you'd think like they would have that kind of like setting for like his level. But anyway, you know, I I probably could have beat him uh, by myself if I had taken a better approach at uh, attacking him with uh, the limited amount of life I had. And um, what else? Um, stabbing down with uh, when I was uh, using uh, Wolverine, I totally forgot about that, and it's so badass. Uh, you don't see that too often in beat em ups and the ability to stab a guy while he's on the ground. So that was pretty cool and that, that brought back brought back some memories of uh, just kicking ass at this game as a little kid. Usually with the assistance of you know older gamers that uh, would play with me. Um, but yeah, I mean if you haven't played X-Men uh, and you're a fan of X-Men or you're just a fan of like classic arcade beat em ups, you can get this on the PlayStation Network and and Xbox Live. I'm probably going to purchase it once I get some money um, and I'm able to uh, purchase it because this is just an all-time great you know game all around. So if you're a fan of beat 'em ups and you're a fan of X-Men, check this game out hands down. Um, I'm definitely going to try another run through at some point on one credit and see if I can get past the blob and maybe get get farther into the game on one credit. I uh, just got to change up my strategy on uh, attacking the uh, take, taking on the blob. So. Uh, definitely look for that repeat at some point, but uh, like I said, I've, I've been recording a lot of game footage, so just uh, look for uh, the next one coming uh, probably tomorrow or uh, sometime in the sometime this weekend, because uh, I am going to probably be doing a 1001 movie review at some point. So that's all for now. Um, this has been Justin for One Credit, brought to you by uh, Death by Blunderbuss at WordPress.com. Take care, everybody.